because of her limits, I had to go back to the house. And at the next uh, end of the next session, I'll be eligible to run for the state senate again, which will include this district. So in 2024, expect my name on the bell because I'm going to run. So with your support, you know, there is negative. We're almost under attack. We've become U.S. citizens in 1925. In 1964, we finally got to vote as natives in our own country. And if the Republicans get their way with this district being, the Senate, the Fort Peck and the Fort Belmont, the Nautilus tribes will be separated. So it is a must that we uh, try to ask and to be involved in this whole process to make sure that the native voice is strong and heard and held. And as Frank said, that we do what we can with what we have. We are the majority of the minority in this legislature. And after serving 20 years, I kind of learned a few things in that. So thank you very much and ask for your support and support back for Frank Smith. Thank you. Also, one of the veterans that introduced himself really quick. Master Sergeant Thomas Crawford, United States Army. Sergeant Leon Stewart, Coach Rock, United States Marine Corps, Sergeant Allen, Seventh Marines, First Angle Coach. Sergeant Mason Marshall, United States Air Force. Sarah Thurman, Northern Army, West Army. Good to have you with me. Thank you, Benjamin, for your service. The next guest that we have tonight caught uh, my attention when we were up at the East Mike South Pipeline. Kind of bring attention to the, the dangers that the man can put the free to our area. Penny Ronnie had contacted me because she's a co founder of the Yellowstone County Human Trafficking Task Force. So as an aspect of the extraction industry, um, and I understand the energy security and uh, our fossil fuel um, extraction industry is a must, but um, at the same time, we need to make sure that we protect our indigenous communities, our native people, and along that path of activism, we have people like Terry Martinez, another water protector. Terry was on the front line, you know, Terry in the Eagle Stop. There was many water protectors that are here today, here tonight, that were hit by beanbags, rubber bullets, and tear gas, and percussion grenades. And they carry a lot of that. I did it for each and every one of you for so picking out clean water. So the 24,000 clean water drinkers here in Northeast Montana owe a great debt of gratitude to our water protectors. All the activists that behind the scenes do things for, for you. They put their lives on the line, they put their freedoms on the line, but they also understand that along that walk, there's a, there's a great deal of putting yourself out there to become a target. But Kenny Rowney, she, she contacted me because she's a co founder of the Yellowstone Company.